Hello, what's up? Ali here, and today we are going to help our fellow gamers who are stuck on this part. This is the part when you start your PS3 and suddenly uh, received this message. On this video, we are going to answer what is this issue and how to fix this. And uh, later on the video, we are going to share some tips how we can prevent this from happening. So let us start with uh, what the cause. This happens when you start your PS3 and suddenly the hard drive cannot be detected. You may unplug your hard drive and plug it back to make sure it is plugged in thoroughly and uh, start your ps3 and see if it will start normally but uh, most of the time if you see this message uh, you will have uh, to either change your hard drive or reinstall your firmware unfortunately once your hard drive died out there is no repair so the only fix is to replace your hard drive and uh, if you are suffering from constant hang ups or freezing then most probably your hard drive is dying as well but before you replace your hard drive, you may want to rebuild your database first. Actually, we have a separate video for that. I will just leave a link on our description so you can go ahead and try to rebuild your database if it will improve your hard drive. Or if not, then you may need to reformat your hard drive. But if those things did not help you fix your PS3, then you will have to replace the hard drive of your PS3. To replace the hard drive, first we have to remove the hard drive. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you on this video how to remove the hard drive since different PS3 or different models has different ways. But we'll just go ahead and show you this picture. And here you'll have an idea where your hard drive is located. Or you may just Google or check other videos how to replace the hard drive of your PS3. Just make sure that you are checking on your exact model. Then once you remove your hard drive, then we'll need a replacement. Any slim hard drive will do like this one. So uh, if you have some spare hard drive or laptop hard drives, you can actually use them as a replacement for your PS3. You may also use SSD depending on your preference, but it is not advisable. And once you have your replacement hard drive, then we are going to need the firmware to install on your PS3. For the firmware, we'll have three options. So if you're using your PS3 like usual, you'll definitely need the official firmware. And if you're using a PS3 with a hand exploit, then you will need the hybrid firmware. And if you are using a custom firmware, then you'll need a custom firmware. But if you're using a custom firmware, you may go ahead and directly install custom firmware right after you replace your hard drive. On this video, I'm going to use a PS3 that has a custom firmware previously installed in it. So I will show you that we can go ahead and install a custom firmware directly after we replace the hard drive. But if you have installed hybrid firmware first, then you will have uh, uh, to go through the uh, process of installing the custom firmware before you can install the custom firmware. Let us go ahead on our video. First, we'll download uh, our firmware. For the firmware, so we'll have three options and let us start with the official firmware. All of the links uh, can be found on our description. Just open the link and uh, for the official firmware, just scroll down a little and on this part, right click here and click on save link as. And here you can just pick a location where you want to save uh, your firmware. So let us just go ahead and save this on our PS3 firmware. So if you have received uh, this message, just click on the drop down menu and uh, click on the keep. Then uh, for the hybrid firmware, if you are using hand exploit, you will need the hybrid firmware. So just open the link that we are also going to provide on the description and click on this area on the download. So just click here and again choose a uh, preferred location that you wish to save uh, your file. So let us uh, also save them uh, on the same folder. And for the CFW you will also find the link on our description. Just scroll down a little until you get to this area. And here you'll have the option what file to download. By the way, before you install any firmware on your PS3, you have to make sure that its Bluetooth device is properly working. To check that, you'll just have to connect your wireless controller and make sure you can use it without any wires or without any cables. If your Bluetooth device is busted, or that means that you can only use your controller with a wired connected, then that means that you have a busted Bluetooth. 
you cannot install any firmware on any PS3 that has a busted Bluetooth device. Otherwise, you will get an error with the update and you won't be able to resume the update unless that you have fixed the error. So you have to carefully check your PS3 first before you install any firmware. If you are on CFW, you will be able to choose a firmware that supports no Bluetooth. And you will also have an option to choose a no Blu-ray driver. But if you are on hybrid firmware or official firmware, there is no work around once you have already started your update. So in our case, since my PS3 don't have any issues, I would go ahead and choose this one. So on this part, just click on this area and download the file. For our storage, we just have to make sure that the format is on FAT32. To know that, just right click on the drive and click on properties. And here on the file system, it should read here FAT32. If it's anything but FAT32, our PS3 will not recognize the hard drive. So uh, to format your hard drive, if your hard drive is uh, 32 gig and below, you can use the Windows uh, to format it to FAT32. Simply right click on the drive and click on format, then choose FAT32. But if your hard drive has uh, 64 gig and up, you will have uh, to use a formatter to format your hard drive to FAT32. I have also left a link on our description where to download uh, the FAT32 formatter that I usually use. So just open the link and click on this part to download the file. So we'll just go ahead and save them on the same folder. Now open the folder and extract it uh, wherever you want. And on the extracted folder, you don't need to install this file. Simply go ahead and run the program. And here on the physical drive, click on the drop down menu and uh, pick your hard drive so you have to make sure that you pick the correct hard drive because you don't want uh, to mess up and format a wrong hard drive because formatting your hard drive will definitely remove all of its content so once you have uh, picked your hard drive uh, simply click on this area then click on initialize then uh, click on this area again click on the quick format then start and it should format your hard drive and uh, once your hard drive has been formatted we have uh, to create a PS3 folder on the root of your hard drive. So you have to make sure that everything is capitalized. Now inside the PS3 folder, we have to create another folder update again all capitalized. Then here inside this update folder, we are going to place uh, the firmware that we are going to install on our PS3. And in our case, we are going to use uh, DCFW. Also, you have uh, to make sure that your ps3 have uh, the right file name so again uh, for your ps3 to recognize your hard drive you have uh, to make sure that it's formatted to fast 32 your update file must have the right file name and your update file must be on the right folder so let us go ahead and uh, transfer our file here since i already have a previous update file in the right folder i'll just go ahead and uh, delete this one so just pick your firmware that you wish to install on your PS3. So just uh, pick your firmware. So in my case, I'm going to use this one. So I'll just go ahead and extract this. So I'll just go ahead and transfer this one here. So once we have prepared our storage and our update file, it is now time to install them on our PS3. Back on the PS3, we'll have to connect our controller using a USB cable, then press the PS button. Then here, we have to press start and select buttons at the same time. Then on this part, we have to press and hold the select and start button for 5 seconds. And once you are here, congratulations because your PS3 has detected your hard drive and your update file. And it will just continue the update process. Just follow the whole process and wait for the whole process to complete.
after the update, your PS3 will safely reboot and you can go ahead and install your HAN if you're using HAN or install your homebrews if you're using CFW or simply resume on using your PS3. Now let us provide the more details on this issue and provide some tips how we can prevent this from happening. Well, uh, what happened was your hard drive suddenly um, stopped working. So since your PS3 needs a hard drive to work, it will not boot properly without the proper hard drive. Sometimes uh, you'll just have uh, to reconnect your PS3 and ensure it's properly connected. But uh, most of the time, once you have uh, seen uh, those messages, you will have uh, to replace your hard drive or at least uh, reinstall your firmware. Now, this usually happens simply by wear and tear. Your hard drive will definitely wear out, uh, but sometimes uh, through improper shutdown or through improper usage, uh, it will definitely shorten the lifespan of your PS3. So you will have to make sure that every time you finish playing with your PS3, you will have uh, to turn it off properly. Or if you have a UPS, it is advisable uh, to use one. The improper shutdown has a risk uh, of uh, ruining uh, your hard drive. And uh, in case you had some errors uh, in uh, the update itself, uh, you have to take note of the error code. Uh, through that error code, you will have uh, a, a clue on what causes the error. Now, before we end the video, let us uh, answer one last question. So, when do we need to change our hard drive? Now, if your PS3 is uh, suffering from a constant uh, slowdown or hangups or freezing, then there is a chance that your PS3's hard drive is about to die. First, you may try to rebuild the database. If it did not work, then you may have to reformat your hard drive. To format your hard drive, here on the system settings, here on the restore PS3 settings, you will be able to restore your PS3 or format your PS3. You may also do that here on the format utility. But in case uh, the format and the rebuild database did not uh, change the, uh, the status of your PS3, then that simply means that you have a busted hard drive. You may still continue using your PS3, but eventually it will definitely die out. And you will see the message that we have showed earlier. So if you have uh, encountering those issues, then it is a sign for you to have a backup of your files. Then go ahead and have a replacement of your hard drive. So this is it for our video. Again, this is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe so that I can continue making these kinds of videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.